Hey, horse lovers, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something a bit controversial, the five horse breeds you should never own. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm about to spill the tea on some breeds that might seem cool, but trust me, they come with some serious challenges that could make you rethink your choice. But before you hit the pause button or jump to conclusions, stick with me till the end, because there's a lot more to these horses than meets the eye. By the time we're done, you'll know exactly what to look out for and why these breeds might not be the best fit for everyone. Ready? Let's get into it. The Gypsy Vanner. Last but not least, let's talk about the Gypsy Vanner. These horses are like the showpieces of the horse world. Beautiful, flashy, and full of personality. But that beauty comes with a ton of upkeep. Their feathered legs need constant care to prevent infections, and their manies and tails can get tangled or matted if not regularly groomed. Plus, they're not the easiest to train because of their strong-willed nature. So, if you're not ready to dedicate a lot of time to grooming and training, a Gypsy Vanner might not be the right horse for you. The Shire. Then we have the Shire Horse. These gentle giants are amazing, no doubt about it, but their size can actually be a bit of a drawback. They need more space, more food, and even bigger equipment. Think saddles, bridles, and trailers. Not to mention, if you've got a small barn or a limited pasture space, a shire might just overwhelm your setup. So, unless you're prepared to accommodate their needs, they might not be the best fit for you. The Frisian. Now, let's talk about the Frisian. These horses look like they've stepped straight out of a fantasy movie. All that flowing mane and tail, and their powerful build. But here's the reality check. Their beauty comes with a price. Frisians are prone to a lot of health issues, especially with their legs and feet, which means vet bills can rack up fast. They also require a lot of grooming to keep that gorgeous coat in check. If you're not prepared to put in the extra time and money, you might want to think twice before bringing a Frisian home. The Arabian. Next on the list is the Arabian. These horses are legendary for their beauty and stamina, but here's the catch. They're also known for being super smart. And while that's a great quality, it can also mean they get bored easily and might develop some quirky habits if they're not mentally stimulated. They're also known for being a bit on the hot side, meaning they can be pretty sensitive and high-strung. Not exactly a beginner-friendly breed, right? So, unless you've got the experience and time to invest, an Arabian might be more than you bargained for. The Thoroughbred. First up, we've got the Thoroughbred. Now, don't get me wrong, these horses are absolutely stunning, and they're the kings and queens of the racetrack. But here's the deal, they're not exactly what you'd call low maintenance. These horses are born to run, and they've got the energy levels to prove it. If you're not ready to keep up with their daily exercise needs and manage their intense temperament, you might find yourself in over your head. Plus, their racing background often means they're prone to injuries. So, unless you're ready for that kind of commitment, you might want to steer clear. Oh, there you have it, folks. Five horse breeds that might just be more trouble than they're worth for some people. But hey, if you've got the experience, the resources, and the love for one of these breeds, then by all means, go for it. Every horse deserves a great home. And who knows? One of these might just be the perfect match for you. Just make sure you're fully aware of what you're getting into. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments which breed surprised you the most, or if there's another breed you think should be on this list. Until next time, keep loving those horses, and see you in the next video on Be For You Wild.